And we're now joined by Jim Accurso, a public affairs specialist for the U.S. Small Business Administration. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Bo. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be here. So uh, did you travel all the way from D.C. to come visit us? No, I actually live in St. Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've mm -hmm. driven through St. Paul, Minnesota, actually. Yeah, it's a nice little town. Yeah. And we call it St. Small. Yeah. St. Small. Yeah, it uh, looked uh, pretty big to me. I yeah, mean, coming from Burlington. Yeah, it's a big state. It's a state <laughs> capital. So all, that whole vibe, yeah. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. welcome. We're Thank so you. glad you're here with us. Yeah, I like Vermont. Yeah? yeah, it's a beautiful place. It is. Very green like Minnesota, I would imagine. Y yes, yeah, this time of year especially, right? Yeah. And with all the rain, right? Oh gosh, and speaking of rain, yeah. we, that's why you're here to help us today. Right. Cover yep. some answers. Mm -hmm. So the Small Business Administration has approved um, ten, um, uh, over $10 million in loans, I believe, to help flood victims in Vermont. Mm -hmm. And Jim, let's start off with this. What is the message that you want to send to people who may need help and have yet to apply to the SBA for disaster relief loans? Okay, so we are here in Vermont. We are offering uh, loans to homeowners and renters, mm -hmm. businesses mm -hmm. and nonprofits. A lot of folks don't know that we do help homeowners and renters. Okay. Okay, and yeah. we have long-term low interest loans that they can apply for. We're encouraging everyone to come into one of our nine centers or they can apply online at disasterloanassistance.sba.gov and to, uh, they can come in and, uh, to one of our centers and talk to one of our trained and experienced customer service reps to see if they're eligible okay. so we can help them. Recover. Amazing. Okay, so hopefully we can get those nine sites up on our website a little later. But for now, can you also talk a little bit about how the loan process works? Okay, so what that what someone does is come in and sits down and talks to us. They're going to need to bring you know basic paperwork as if, if they would apply normally at a bank for a loan. Again, these are not bank loans. Mm -hmm. So most recent tax record, your your EIN number, mm -hmm. uh, any proof of the damages. Um, and come so like in photos photos if you have photos mm -hmm. and we may come out and do a site visit you know a after mm -hmm. you do apply mm -hmm. at the centers they will apply the information will go on up and be processed by a loan processor mm -hmm. and then if how long does that normally take that could take about three to four weeks before okay. they hear back mm -hmm. and then they will talk to a actual loan officer mm -hmm. and and they will the loan officer will discuss the terms of the loan uh, you know, if they'll get up to the 30 years and the amounts, so so businesses can get up to $200,000. Uh, homeowners can get 40,000 for contents. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or renters can get 40,000 for contents. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Home uh, homeowners can get uh, the 200,000 okay. uh, for for contents for for real estate mm -hmm. uh, for uh, equipment and the like. And um, need to need to state too that there is no fee to apply or no obligation to take the loan. Mm -hmm. But we do want them to apply before the, the rapidly approaching deadline, which is the 12th of September. Okay. That's approaching very quickly. Yes. And last question. Since the flooding has concluded, how much help has been given? So we've given uh, almost $12 million. We were at $11.9 million yesterday. Okay. Okay, and loans awarded. We expect that number to continue mm -hmm. to rise. Mm -hmm. um, and in addition to these loans that we have for physical damage, we want folks to consider the economic injury loans that we have available. So any businesses that had any setbacks mm -hmm. uh, tied to the tied to the disaster. Yeah, so like having to close down. Having to close down, mm -hmm. having to let lost employees revenue. go. Right, lost revenue. Mm. They couldn't travel from one county to the other. Sure. Um, they have until uh, April 15th of next year to apply. Okay, so a little bit more time. Right, and, and I'm sure the information up on your website is going to show that we have the counties that, that yes, apply, that right. folks can apply. Sure. And we do have some contiguous counties in New York uh, New Hampshire and Massachusetts for okay. those idle loans. Okay, yeah. and then quickly one one more question here. There are some counties like Addison and Middlebury areas that were impacted by flooding, but were not included in a disaster declaration. Right, but they are contiguous counties, so they are mm. eligible for the economic injury loans. Now, I was I was recently at a meeting down in Middlebury, mm -hmm. and they're encouraging folks that have damage to apply with with the state, <clears throat> and as those numbers are compiled there's a possibility that that, that that could change. But right now, Addison and those contiguous counties are only eligible for the idle loans. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. thank you so much for coming in. Thanks and for having you me. heard it, we'll have this all up on the website for you to check out a little later. Right, thank you. Stick with us.